a sphinx is a graceful cat that has gained popularity relatively recently. Not many people know that bold cats existed long before the development of civilization and were also revered by ancient people. Today, sphinxes are intelligent and kind animals who are always ready to make contact with people. The history of the origin of the sphinxes. The sphinx is one of the oldest cat breeds. There is evidence that they existed in ancient Egypt when the white blue-eyed sphinx guarded the sacred places. The ancient Aztecs also had cats without hair. Resourceful people used them as living warmers. The ancient breeds of bulk cats have disappeared for various reasons, therefore, we can say that modern sphinxes were bred artificially. For example, in the United States at the beginning of the 20th century, there was an exhibition at which the Mexican hairless cat was shown, the closest relative of the ancient bulk cats. Unfortunately, the Mexican hairless disappeared completely by the 30s as they could not leave productive offspring. Hairless kittens can appear in fluffy cats regardless of their breed. In 1938, a biologist E. Lettered from France began to study mutations that were observed in bald kittens from a Siamese cat. In parallel with him, bald cats have already been studied in the countries of Scandinavia and in England, although these were only studies and not attempts to recreate the oldest breed. The breed dates back to 1966, when another hairless kitten from an ordinary domestic cat appeared in Canada. The kitten was named Prun, and he was mated with his mother, which resulted in both fluffy and hairless kittens. It was Prun who was crossed with his relatives in order to get as many bald kittens as possible. However, the breed had not yet formed and the population was small. In addition, the kittens had weak immunity and often died. The history of the sphinxes could have ended if in 1975 a bald kitten from an ordinary shorthair cat had not appeared in Baden. The kitten was ironically named Epidermis. After that, a bald cat was born there and both individuals were placed in the nursery. This is how the Sphinx breed began, they successfully bred and produced hairless kittens. Sphinx, breed description. In fact, Sphinxes are not completely devoid of wool, their skin is soft and velvety to the touch. Sphinx hair is so short that it is almost invisible. Some Sphinx breeds have a small coat of hair on the face or feet, although most Sphinxes appear completely bald. Also these cats do not have whiskers. Today, three breeds of Sphinx are generally recognized, which are registered by the Cat Fanciers Association. These include Canadian Sphinx. This breed has been around for 60 years. On the body of the Canadian Sphinxes there is an inconspicuous fluff and many leather folds. They have large expressive eyes and large ears. The body is smaller than that of a normal cat. The Don Sphinx was bred in Rostov on Don. They are quite large and have a lot of folds. The body is more massive and shorter, they very much resemble an ordinary domestic cat without hair. Sometimes on the bodies of Don Sphinxes, a small amount of soft fluff is allowed, which curls into curls. The Petterbald or Petersburg Sphinx is a breed obtained by crossing with graceful oriental cats. Thanks to this tandem, the breed turned out to be very graceful, an elongated head, narrow eyes and long ears. The body is slender and elongated. Petterbalds can have a small smooth coat. The Sphinx cat continues to change and improve. So far, the most popular and stable are the Canadian Sphinxes. All sphinxes have well-developed muscles, which makes them, even with all the elegance, quite strong animals. The tails of the sphinxes are also completely devoid of wool, they always twist a little into a spiral at the end. Popular colors of sphinxes. Sphinxes come in a wide variety of colors, many of which differ from standard feline colors. In general, cat colors are classified as follows, solid, the color of the cat's body is evenly one color from the whiskers to the tip of the tail. The color is necessarily intense, Tortoiseshell is a combination of several colors, in particular black and red. There are no strict requirements for tortoiseshell colors, since they change in every possible way during selection. Tabby, striped, spotted, and marbled cats, in which a contrasting pattern is clearly visible. By colors, a combination of white and basic colors. Colored cats are a color similar to Siamese cats. In particular, the following colors are available for sphinxes of various breeds, classic, white, black, blue, red, cream, chocolate, lilac, gray with a pinkish tinge. The nose and feet remain bright pink, cinnamon, brown color, background, pale pink color, classic tabby, with markings on the legs and tail, curls on the cheeks. Original color with many markings consisting of lines and spots, mackerel, legs are painted with rings that smoothly turn into markings throughout the body, spotted tabby, spots on the body in the form of spots, torby, tortoiseshell color, which combines silver, blue, red and other colors, silver, brown, blue, red, cream tabby. Calico is chintz. White color with pale black and red spots, van calico, white with blue and cream spots, point, a color in which numerous points of different colors are located on the body of the sphinx, sable is brown without any markings, platinum, honey beige color of the cat. 
the nature and habits of the sphinxes. Sphinxes really need communication with humans, and this sets them apart from many other breeds of cats. They are loving, love to sit on their knees, they love to be stroked. The sphinx doesn't like being alone for a long time, so these cats are not suitable for people who are always busy at work. Sphinxes are completely non-aggressive, welcoming and benevolent. They are ready to meet new people, willingly let themselves be stroked, and prefer not to be aggressive. These cats are well suited to establishments and families with children, as they love to play and will never offend a person. You can choose overcoming obstacles as games with sphinxes, these cats are excellent learners. Fun fact, sphinxes are not vengeful and are not at all rancorous. At the same time, sphinxes are extremely vulnerable animals, so it is worth treating them kindly and friendly. You cannot shout at them and, moreover, beat them, as this can drive the cat into depression. Sphinxes are easily traumatized, which is why their life expectancy is reduced. The sphinxes are very curious. They love to climb into inaccessible places at home, always pay attention to new objects. Therefore, he should hide them thorny and cutting things, since curious cats will definitely get to them. The sphinx will never perceive itself as inferior to a person. With these cats, only a partnership is possible, in which the sphinx is a full-fledged member of the family. Because of this, you should not expect the sphinx to obey and obey commands. Therefore, it is generally accepted that stubbornness and pride are characteristic of these cats. Sphinxes get along well with other animals, they are not even afraid of dogs. At the same time, the sphinx will not be jealous of the owner of other pets if everyone is given enough time. Interesting facts about the sphinxes. Contrary to popular belief, sphinxes are an ancient breed of cats, but this is not entirely true. The ancient bald cats died out for various reasons, and the sphinx is an artificially bred breed that is turned out due to mutations. Sphinxes usually live for about 14 years. The longest living cat of this breed died at the age of 19. The key to success and the longevity of these cats is competent care and a minimum of stress. Sphinxes are very hot animals as their body temperature reaches 39 degrees Celsius. No wonder the ancient Aztecs used sphinxes as living heating pads. At their temperature, cats of this breed are extremely thermophilic and cannot stand cold weather. Sphinxes are suitable for people who really want to have a cat but who are allergic to wool. Lack of hair is also a plus in pet care. Sphinxes love to swim in warm water. Newborn sphinxes have drooping ears and their body is covered with folds from head to toe, some of which straighten with age. Bold cats were considered sacred by many peoples. Their gracefulness was sung in antiquity, and the cult of cats in ancient Egypt did not bypass the most ancient representatives of bald cats. Sometimes sphinxes still show aggression, but this is not the norm for their behavior. Aggressive sphinxes are cats that have undergone any kind of stress or psychological trauma. Such cats should be gradually rehabilitated, but trust will be extremely difficult to restore. Sphinxes have very sensitive skin. They should definitely be stroked and scratched, as this gives them pleasure, makes them happy, and even more attached to the owner. Pros and cons of sphinxes. The most obvious plus of sphinx cats is the lack of hair. Cats do not cause allergies, they do not need to be combed out, and loose hair does not settle on clothes, furniture and the floor. Like fluffy cats, sphinxes are pleasant to the touch and likewise love affection. Sphinxes are affectionate and loving, this is also a plus for art and cat lovers. Sphinxes will always be happy to be stroked and will never refuse to sit on the lap of the owner. They love to sleep with people under the covers and, besides, the sphinxes are very warm, so they can even warm their owner. Fun fact, sphinxes are intelligent and trainable. They will be happy to perform simple tricks if they correctly approach the treatment of the animal. Usually they willingly make contact with people who have always been respectful to them. Sphinxes love to play so they can be got in families with children. They also get along easily with other animals. Sphinxes are in good health, although regular checkups with veterinarians should not be neglected. Sphinx kittens are born strong and healthy and open their eyes quickly. Sometimes small sphinxes are born sighted at all. Also, from childhood, they have a good appetite and willingly eat both homemade food and feed. Sphinxes also have negative sides. The most basic of these is that cats sweat a lot. The fact is that in ordinary cats all the sweat is absorbed into the undercoat and evaporates, but sphinxes do not have such an undercoat. Their sweat has a smell and an unpleasant brown tint. If the cat sweats while sitting on light-colored furniture or clothes, the stain will definitely remain. Such stains are almost impossible to remove. Sphinxes are playful and curious, and if they are not provided with the necessary toys, they will find them themselves. They will tear the curtains, eat the pins, and do other unpleasant things. Sphinxes are also clean, so they will not want to visit a tray that already has a strong smell. Breeding Sphinxes 
breeding sphinxes requires special attention, and breeding cats of this breed should only be dealt with by people who already have experience in breeding cats. It is important to know how the puberty of sphinxes proceeds, how to choose a mating partner, and how to give birth to a cat so that everything goes well. Cats mature by about the seventh month of life, but it's too early to start knitting. It is important to wait out the first heat, the sphinx starts screaming and fussing. Changes in her behavior occur, cats can become both very affectionate and aggressive. The sphinx's body is still forming, so you just need to wait out this period if you are not going to neuter the cat. Males mature by about the eighth month of life. They are not yet ready for mating, readiness can also be understood by a change in behavior, the pet is actively marking territory and becomes aggressive. The first mating can be carried out after the cats are one and a half years old, during this time, the cat is past at least three streaks. By this age, animals must be fully vaccinated and healthy, otherwise there is a risk of getting sick offspring. Cats cannot be vaccinated after mating. Before mating, animals must be checked with veterinarians so that there are no accidental diseases. Before the viscous animal, claws are cut so that they do not accidentally fight. Better to give the cat some time to get used to each other and get to know each other. The scent of the cat should attract the male, so everything will go naturally. Sometimes mating alone is not enough, so cats must spend several days with each other. Pregnant cats become lazy and affectionate. Pregnancy lasts 63 days, but belated labor is not uncommon among this cat breed. Sphinxes usually give birth on their own without complications. In general, a cat can bear up to 12 healthy kittens. Kittens are born healthy and strong, they open their eyes very early. Sphinx care. First of all, care concerns the sphinx skin. Since cats sweat profusely, they need to be washed and wiped down with damp wipes. On unkempt skin, a crust may even appear, which will trigger the onset of dermatitis. When bathing sphinxes, you should follow the rules. The water temperature should not exceed 38 degrees. If you are bathing a kitten, then lowering it into the water should be done slowly. It is worth placing a rubber mat on the bottom so that it does not slip. You should only use a special sphinx shampoo. The towel in which you wrap the sphinx should be soft and tarry, as other material can irritate the skin. You need to keep a wet sphinx on your hands until it is completely dry, otherwise the animal will get cold. Never dry with a hairdryer. You can use a special moisturizer to soften your skin after bathing. Sphinxes are bathed once a week, but every day it is worth wiping them with special napkins and dry towels so that sweat does not accumulate on them. It should be understood that sphinxes do not have any protection that fluffy cats have, Therefore, their ears should be regularly cleaned with chopsticks to prevent wax buildup. Sphinx teeth should also be cleaned of impurities with special pastes. The lack of eyelashes also makes sphinxes vulnerable to dust and dirt. It is worth regularly cleaning the corners of the eyes with cotton swabs, as well as examining the cat at the veterinarian for eye diseases. Since sphinxes are not protected from sunlight, they can burn in the sun. It is worth controlling how much the cats lie under the sun so that they do not get burned. Burns should be treated with special ointments. Diet of Sphinxes. Sphinxes are unpretentious in food and do not require special diet selection. Of course, if these are ready-made feeds, then only premium class feeds should be preferred. Little kittens up to one and a half months feed on mother's milk, which provides them with everything they need. At two months old, kittens should be given special supplements or grated boiled chicken breast, beef, chicken egg yolk. Finished feed is pre-soaked in water. After the kitten is taken from the cattery, it is worth feeding it the same food that the breeder fed. This will minimize the stress that the kitten receives when it is separated from its mother. Feeding according to the new scheme should be introduced gradually one week after weaning from the mother. In no case should you feed the sphinxes with food from the table, they are prone to overeating and are ready to eat even what cats do not eat in principle. Although hairless cats do eat more than fluffy cats as they spend a lot more energy to keep warm. For example, a two-month-old kitten is fed up to eight times a day, so you have to feed it even at night. If you are choosing homemade food for your pet, then it must include the following components, daily, beef, rabbit, poultry, alternate, boiled offal several times a week, cereals such as corn, wheat, rice, or buckwheat, egg once a week, carrots, zucchini, broccoli, cabbage and other greens up to three times a week, daily supplements in the form of vitamins. The best option would be to make a minced meat preparation, add an egg and vegetables to it, and also drip a few drops of vitamin D, healthy food for your pet is ready diseases and health problems. Sphinxes have very strong immunity, so with proper care they will not catch colds and get sick with infectious diseases. But these animals have a number of birth defects that can manifest themselves in one form or another. For example, the so-called carp bite, in which the lower jaw of the sphinx is slightly shortened. The incisors of cats do not touch, the jaw is twisted, and asymmetry of the teeth occurs. 
Due to the fact that teeth bite into the hard palate, ulcers and wounds constantly develop on it. Also, a disease of microphthalmos, in which kittens' eyes do not develop correctly, due to which they decrease in size. This is fraught with many eye diseases that need to be monitored by a veterinarian. Sometimes the eyes develop cysts and tumors. A similar disease is volvulus of the eyelids, due to which animals suffer from conjunctivitis for life. Important fact, curvature of the caudal spine is also not uncommon among sphinxes. Often kittens are simply born unviable and die early. Such a disease is fraught with intestinal abnormalities, a weak digestive system, short stature and underdevelopment of the thoracic region. Nipple hyperplasia occurs among female sphinxes and is inherited. It usually affects cats with light blue or blue cream skin and blue eyes. It is impossible to diagnose it immediately, but it appears gradually. At the age of one year, kittens' nipples turn red, and the skin around them gradually thickens. Cysts may appear. Cats with this condition should not be bred. Cubs can be born with abnormal internal organs, which is why they often die. Also these cats produce very little milk. Hyperplasia can occur if the cat is given sex-suppressing hormones. Sphinx, price and how to buy correctly. The cost of the sphinx consists of many factors, in particular, the pedigree and the cost of mating the parents. Therefore, the sphinxes cost from 100 to 1300 US dollars. Sphinxes are best chosen in nurseries, where breeders can provide documents for each kitten. Otherwise, a sphinx bought from unknown breeders may turn out to be pathologically ill. Check out the breed standards and choose which sphinxes interest you the most. Kittens must strictly adhere to these standards. Also, decide on the purpose of buying a sphinx, as they are divided into several categories. That class cats are suitable for keeping at home. They were purposefully bred as pets and require a minimum of care. Show class cats are suitable for those who want to attend competitions with their pet. There are also cats with slight deviations from the norm, they are suitable for novice breeders who want to get productive offspring. When choosing a kitten, you should pay attention to its behavior and not only to its appearance. Sphinxes are affectionate, playful and mobile, they willingly go to meet new people. If you see that the kitten is showing aggression, hiding or sitting still, not showing interest in the environment, then something is wrong with this kitten. In order to choose a kitten, it is worth visiting the breeder more than once while observing the kittens. The kitten should not have watery eyes, dry skin, and, moreover, a sign of dermatitis. He should be well fed, but not too fat. It's not worth buying a sick animal out of pity. The Sphinx is a graceful cat that combines a sharp mind, curiosity and a desire to communicate with people. They become excellent pets, get along well with other animals and find a common language with children. By getting yourself a Sphinx, you make an affectionate friend who will always be glad to see you.